morning everybody this is the trail ninja yeah wonder what I make my videos with and how I edit them uh, well, I'm gonna give you a tour of my gear and software and hardware that I use to make the mountain bike videos that you see on my channel so I will switch over to the other camera and we'll, go, and we'll uh, give you the tour as you can see, I have the uh, assortment of cameras that I use to make the videos and my uh, laptop that I use to edit them and the software I use is Adobe Premiere Elements 13. It's a little outdated but it does the job. Alright, so let's go from top left to bottom right. I have a point and shoot. That's a Sony DSC HX9B. Uh, it's a 16 megapixel uh, stills and it shoots 1080p at 60 frames a second. And on to this, I have a Hero 5 Black that I got when it first came out uh, in 2016. Uh, and then to that, I got a Hero 6 Black, which just came out this year. And down here, I have a Hero 3 Black. Got that, oh lord, it's probably back in 2012 or 2013, whichever year it came out. I got it the year it came out and I have three Hero 3 Plus Silvers. So total I have six GoPros and a point and shoot. And you may ask me why I have so many GoPros. Well, I mean you can put them on different places on the bike, external shots and stuff like that. And it enables me to capture a lot of footage uh, and only have to ride a trail once and also makes editing a lot easier because once you line up the videos they perfectly line up since they're all on the same ride uh, before then if you only had like one camera and want to do multiple POVs you had to do the same trail several times and because you're not really going the same speed different timings it you had a it took a lot more time to edit the video to try to get it to look like you're on that one ride so having multiple cameras solves that problem. Um, also, when you ride, ride with buddies, you can slap one on on them and or on their bike and get some extra shots in. So it's it's pretty nice to have uh, multiple cameras. And of course, you know the question is, do you really need the latest GoPro camera? And the answer is yes and no. And it depends on what you want and what your footage you're shooting. Uh, for me, these uh, cameras here they go on the they go on the uh, bike or external, where stabilization is not that bad of an issue. Uh, believe it or not, uh, when I mount these on the bikes, for the most time, the footage is actually pretty good. I mean, doesn't you know you get a little shaky depending on the on the trail, but for the most part, the uh, footage is actually pretty smooth. The only chest mount I have that is really needed in stabilization would be the chesty mount. And so that's where the Hero 5 or Hero 6 Black comes into play. It has the electronic image stabilization, so that's where those cameras go on the chesty mount. And of course the, the point and shoot is just for taking pictures on the ride or you know, I also do external shoot, shooting with that as well. And it takes, it's video quality is really good. And yes, an old camera, but again, you don't really need the greatest and, and best to go out riding. And to be honest with you, I prefer not to take a brand new $800 camera on the trail with me in case a crash or gets damaged or whatever. It's I'd feel I'd feel better taking an old camera that does a decent shot job of uh, shooting and taking pictures. That way, if something happens, it's not a big loss. So that's my take on what kind of camera you should take with you on the trail. And also use my cell phone. So I make cell phone cameras. This uh, Galaxy S7 Edge takes pretty good pictures and uh, good video. So I also toss some uh, video on this as well. And the uh, laptop I have is an Asus G. Oh crap! No, it's a yeah, G Asus G751JL. It's a Core i7, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, I put Windows 7 on it because I hate Windows 8 and I hate Windows 10. So I downgraded it to Windows 7. It was a pain in the butt getting drivers for it, but I found all the drivers I needed to put it on there and it's running pretty good. 
Uh, it's about five times faster than my uh, uh, previous laptop I had, which was a Core i5 with only uh, only uh, four gigs of RAM in it, so it compiles my videos a lot faster. And Adobe, again, Adobe Premiere Elements 13. It's basic. It's a basic uh, video editor. Uh, it's a lot better than Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker sucks. I mean, it, it just it, to me it just sucks. I hate Windows Movie Maker, so I don't recommend using it. I mean, I guess if you're a noob and you just put it together, but I just would you'll you'll outgrow that really quick. It's just very limited. I don't like it at all. So this is a pretty decent little program. Uh, and I edit at 1080p, which I think this much. I, I don't know if this will do 4K or not, but I know it does 1080p. So, and I don't shoot 4K, so I don't really care if this does 4K or not. Um, the reason I don't shoot in 4K is battery life and storage capacity on a card. Plus, it's extra extra uh, processing time for the editor to edit it. Extra taxing on the hardware. Not everybody's computer can edit 4K. I mean, it does take a little extra horses to to edit 4K. I mean, this this computer has the horses to do it. It just, I just to me, I, I when I go on mountain bike trips, it's an all-day affair. I really want to conserve battery and conserve uh, space. Plus, I don't have a 4K display, so to me, I shoot in 1080p. Some people love 4K, and, and I've seen some great 4K footage. So, I mean, I may go to 4K eventually, but right now I don't need 4K, so I don't shoot in 4K. So, that's the, uh, that's the uh, gear I use. And so if you think you need a, what kind of camera you need, depends on what uh, you plan to do with it. If you want to shoot 4K, C Hero 6 Black is about the only one you're gonna be able to do it in decently. Uh, and you'll be able to do it with the Hero 5 Black as well, but you don't have image stabilization at 4K on the Hero 5 Black where you do on the Hero 6 Black up to 30 frames a second. And most people shoot video at for 30 frames a second anyway. So, if, and there's other brands like Sony, Garmin, and stuff like that. So, I mean, this I'm just reviewing the GoPros right now. So, I, I love GoPro. I'm a GoPro fanboy. I love, I just love the GoPros. So that's what I use. Other per people may use something different. That's up to, up to the uh, consumer there. And on a side note, I have stickers, guys. Uh, I have plenty of stickers available. If you want a sticker, uh, PM me in, in YouTube or my on my Facebook page and uh, uh, and uh, we'll send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and I'll be glad to send you some stickers. Also, uh, about several months ago, I posted a movie for my uh, 2017 St. George trip. And there's a contest going to win a free The Trail Ninja t-shirt. Uh, so far, nobody's uh, guessed the right answer to the uh, clue. So, watch the video. And again, the first person that comments on the video on YouTube with the correct answer to the clues will win a t-shirt. So... Watch the video, and hopefully somebody will win soon. All right, guys, this is Trail Ninja. Have a great day. Bye-bye.